Okay. So I got billing set up. Um, so we can run this code now, hopefully. So I'm gonna log out. The parameters. So ideally, I just to be able to do this. I think it's parameters. Maybe it's no, it's it's query. Uh, text and lang. Okay, so set language to Spanish, which is not in our pre-translated list. Um, so it will trigger this block of code. Um, hopefully everything's right and it will work. So we got the server logs running down here. Go back to Spark. And then rerun it, replay it maybe. Okay, so it doesn't seem to be doing anything. Seems like this is pretty slow to update. Yeah, okay, so it needs translation. It should have tried to get it. So I guess we can test this outside of Spark um, just by passing manual. Um, so text. Language, Spanish, and that did not do anything because I'm not hitting the, the right endpoint. So let's see. Okay, so it got the query parameters. and it failed. Cloud translation API has not been used in project. Okay, so I think that's the wrong project. I think I just set to run uh, G Cloud init and switch projects. So 23, I thought I silenced those. Oh, okay, maybe that'll work now. Uh, Muzzle is a, a great app for streaming. It's my first time using it, but ideally it will silence all of your OS notifications so they don't check up your stream. Nope, that didn't work. Cool, well, try again next time, I guess. Okay, so let's go back. Try rerunning this. Oh, well, maybe I'll just try going to this link.
Uh, usually this is much faster. I think it's because I'm streaming. Pff, failed to load. go to the actual project. Oh, you know what? That's why. It's because it gave it this weird identifier. Maybe because the name was already taken. So that would be the project ID. Yeah, I think somebody already took that, so I was trying to use their project and it didn't have the API enabled. I wouldn't have access to it anyway. Okay, try it again. I don't think that worked. It's listening. Oh. Translate. Okay, so I got the request. And it failed. Well, if you enabled this API recently, wait a few minutes for it to propagate. Okay, well, I guess since we know that the query is coming through correctly, we can, we can just do that. And text. And then we call it Lang. So, I mean, the idea is that you wouldn't, you wouldn't be running this in production. You would instead have like a, a completed list. Um, so, you, yeah, I think you should start with as many translations as you can. And then the ones that fall through the cracks um, will get sent to your server. Um, and then you can look through the server logs to see like, what text needs translations, and then you can add it to the list. So like, realistically, we would never be, we would be sending the request to our server just to record um, the translation that is needed, um, but we wouldn't actually do any kind of translating um, just for like quality purposes, uh, you you don't want to rely on a machine translation, especially for stuff that's more complex than than just a single word. Uh, or maybe I don't know, even single words. Um, maybe there could be multiple meanings for that word, and you you wouldn't know that unless like uh, you had a human verify it. So, I mean, I'm not sure if this is actually going to work um, before I decide to end the stream, but pretty much everything is there. I'm going to put it up on GitHub um, so you guys can, can tinker with it. Um, but yeah, that's the idea. Um, dynamic translations. Um, don't use it in production, again. Um, just because it, it slows things down for the user um, and it'll cost you money uh, to run the run the translation service um, if if your your app, your um, filter is uh, popular 
if it gets super popular, you'll have to pay for like millions of translation requests and uh, that could add up. Um, but I think this is a good way. It's, it's kind of like um, analytics in a way just to know, you know, what your user base um, needs in terms of translations. Um, maybe, maybe there's some like built-in Spark analytics, but I'm not sure. So if you guys know of anything like that, that would be cool to hear about. I'm just kind of exploring this stuff as I go. Oh, rate limit exceeded, what? Oh, or it is disabled. Okay, well, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, I'm gonna try to do at least one of these videos a day. So if you wanna see more of my tinkering, um, hit subscribe and I'll show up in your, in your feed. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. I'm gonna to actually wait to hit end on this because uh, last time it got cut off. Still figuring out just how to stream. <laughs> Until next time.